Okay, for this example, we're going to look at the Sapphire Plugins Cartoon Plugin inside of Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is running under the FX Plug architecture, which means these plugins also work inside of Motion. And they're also available inside of After Effects, Premiere, and Combustion um, under the same software uh, package and license. Uh, the Cartoon Plugin is going to give your image a cartoon look. It's going to do so by giving you these lines around the edges, as well as flattening out the color somewhat to give it that, uh, that hand-drawn look. And before I apply the cartoon, I just want to show you the source clip here and give you an idea of how that looks before we go ahead and then apply the cartoon to it to uh, show how we can change that. So you can see this, this particular clip has a lot of edges. It's got a lot of bright colors, which we can make some use of some of the controls within cartoon. And uh, to do that, we're actually going to go ahead and go to our effects menu here and go to the video filters. And you've got the Sapphire plugins and the Stylize family. You can see the, uh, the cartoon plugin. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Then you can see immediately it's darkening those edges by giving them lines around it and uh, limiting the color palette somewhat. The parameters are all laid out uh, pretty succinctly from top to bottom, um, usually starting with the, uh, the edge plugins and all the ways you can affect the edges and then moving over just to the ways you can adjust the color of the image. Uh, in this particular case, um, I'm going to start by showing you the edge width parameter here. And edge width just basically does that. It determines how wide the edges are or how wide the lines on the edges are um, in this image. Um, in, in most examples, I, I tend to turn it down to give you more of a, a hand-drawn pencil type of look, but I'll just show you both values here. With the edge width here, the edges get sort of really thick and blurred out, and you almost sort of lose that cartoon look to the image. But instead, um, as I take it way down to zero, it's going to give you these really fine lines around the edges and give you this type of uh, almost hand-drawn pencil look to it. And again, I'll just play this back for you here so you can see how some of this looks. Um, one of the problems you might notice uh, with a low edge width or just applying the edges in general is you get a lot of noise. You get a lot of smaller edges uh, that are getting affected here. That's actually fairly easy to, to, uh, to clean up with what's called the edge threshold parameter. By looking at the edge threshold, um, I can go ahead and actually start to pull away the lines on the smaller edges. So it's, uh, if you've used any of our lighting effects, uh, the threshold parameter is, is pretty similar. It's basically on a universal level, the higher the threshold goes, the less of the image actually gets affected. So in this case, I'm going to take up the edge threshold, and you can see already it's starting to uh, pull away some of those lines from the, uh, from the smaller, shorter edges. You can also do what's called suppress smaller edges, and in that case, it's actually going to uh, do a similar type of thing by eliminating those edges that have um, uh, shorter lengths to them. Um, so you can see already here, I'll jump back and show you the difference. Um, before with the suppress smaller edges down, you had all bits of uh, bits of noise here in the background. Um, as I take suppress smaller edges up, it's sort of starting to filter away a lot of that noise for you. Um, once we've done this, we can start uh, playing with the colors somewhat. And actually before I do that, I want to jump over and show you just the edge strength, um, which is basically determining how dark or how bold the edges are. I can show you that, the edge strength right there. So you see with a really high value, they're, again, picking up on all, every single edge to it. Um, I'll take that down a little bit here and move on now to uh, the edge color. So I've got, by default, it's going to use black lines to colorize my edges. If I want to go ahead and change that, I can easily just go to my color palette, uh, pick any other color, and once I click OK, it's now going to apply that uh, color to all of my edges. So you can get a, a pretty hyper-stylized look here by picking something other than black. And in some cases, it actually works better because it's, there's such a great contrast between your edge color and the rest of the image, it actually makes it stand out more. Uh, so we'll leave it in orange for this example. But I want to go ahead and show you some of the color correction options as well. Um, I mentioned the, uh, the posterization option, which is going to limit the number of colors and give you a, a watercolor type of smoothing. Um, by default, it's set at zero, so you're not seeing that much color limitation at all, in fact. Um, it's just primarily giving you black lines or colored lines around the edges when you first apply cartoon. But if I go ahead and I start to turn up the posterization amount, you see it's really going to smooth out the color palette and limit the value of, uh, of the colors by giving you fewer colors through here. Um, we can also adjust some saturation, so by turning that up, you're really going to intensify the color palette without blowing out any of the brightness. So you can get some really stylized looks here just by adjusting the, uh, the saturation value here. Uh, I'll go ahead and frame preview this a little bit more just to give you an idea of how that looks. Uh, and it looks pretty different from your original source clip. So here's, here's my, uh, my plug-in with the edge uh, threshold adjusted, uh, really low edge width and some saturation posterization options. And here's my source clip without. So it's, it's a pretty stylized, um, cool look. It doesn't necessarily take a whole lot of time and hand tweaking um, that you might have to do by hand if you're going to go ahead and paint every single frame or color correct every single frame in this, in this sequence.
So as I, as I play this through for you, I also want to mention another plugin which is very similar, and that's called Cartoon Paint. So that does the same thing by uh, by giving you these options for posterization and saturation, and giving you these lines around the edges. It also adds uh, brush strokes uh, from another one of our plugins called Auto Paint. So I'm going to go to the Effects tab here, go to Video Filters, and go back to my Stylized Family, and right beneath Cartoon is Cartoon Paint. So again, it's it's a similar type of look here. Um, I've actually got the uh, the edge strength I can adjust here. Move back to uh, another clip. Um, actually, this might be doing field, so I can go to my sequence settings and I can just turn off my field dominance. And voila, you can see a much better realistic look here. Um, and you can see these brush strokes going on. So not only do you have all the edge controls and the color correction controls I showed you, but you also have all these options for the paint controls. So you can see there I've got my paint controls. So I've got the frequency of the strokes. So how many strokes are there in the image? I can do that. And I'll go ahead and adjust that here by turning up the frequency to add that many more brush strokes. And as I take it down, it's more of a, a rough uh, animated look. And of course, the higher your detail, the higher your frequency, the more of a, a fine hand detail look you've got. Um, you also have the stroke length. So how long are, are, are the individual strokes and the stroke alignment? Let me show you the stroke length here and the stroke alignment. Um, the stroke length, again, is determining how long are the strokes, while the stroke alignment is determining how close they line up to the edges of an image. So if we turn the stroke alignment up, uh, you can actually get a, a bit of a Van Gogh type of look. What I'm going to do is, is take the frequency down so you can see the strokes a little more and uh, take the edge strength a little bit down too. So uh, there you've got a pretty cool mosaic type of look. And you've got the, uh, the Van Gogh look in so much as that the, uh, the strokes are, are lining up with the edges in a, in a traditional Van Gogh type of, of painting there. You can see it a little bit more there. And I'll uh, play this back for you to give you an idea of how the cartoon paint looks in comparison to the cartoon.